Frame by Frame. Welcome. Hey there, happy belated New Year's. My name is Rianari and this is the first uh, Frame by Frame podcast of 2014, installment number 9, I believe so. And today with me I have uh, Evan, Jeremy, Miles, and Tyler. I have returned. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Uh, Evan, it's been a while since you've been here. When was the last time you've actually been on the podcast? The last time I was on the podcast was the second one. <laughs> and that was before my internet really, like, screwed up and stuff like that. And it's back, so, yeah, you'll be seeing me on these a bit more often. It's good to have you back. Uh, how are you all today? I'm good, I'm Rio. How are you? Uh, doing good. Did, like, did you guys enjoy the holidays? It was all right, yeah. yeah. It was quiet. New Year's event was terrible. I cried. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. Lots, lots, of, lots of uh, odd, odd things that happened during this holiday break, um, especially with still framed. And uh, speaking of that, I gotta say, uh, aside from my own crappy event, I was the only one who had one. Oh no. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, we're gonna jump right in with what we got here today. Uh, we're gonna start with what's. Uh, already finished in the events going on in still frame and one of it's only one I'm pretty sure everyone knows it everyone who applied really it is to uh, Trident and Poop Deck's Christmas giveaway they um, there was a little bit of delay in distributing out all the presents and you know configuring that whole mess of a post to put everything in and uh, to be quite honest I was disappointed it was like Santa got mugged So he, he, he made Christmas cards out of cardboard. <laughs> I don't know, like, at first, like, before I went to go relook at the thread, uh, I thought, hey, everyone got what they wanted, and then you guys started talking about, oh, god, voice crack. <laughs> everyone started talking, you guys started talking about it, and I was like, nah, that can't be true, and I see, like, half of these are... Merry Christmas from Trident and Poop Deck. Merry Christmas from Trident and Poop Deck. Oh, hey, Merry Christmas from Trident and Poop Deck. And, like, yeah. I'm looking at these. I'm looking at this thread, and there's literally, like, three in a row on top of each other. Yeah, in the very beginning. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I look at it, and I was like, okay. Um, I, like, the first time I saw it, and I saw all those, I'm like, okay, that, those must have just been the people who wanted V-cams. You can't put a V-cam there, so they just must have sent it to them PM. And then, like, I talked to, um, like, the rest of the staff, and they're like, no, 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 like, those, that's what they got. And I'm like, what? Like, so it, their rule was, like, whoever contributed the most would get the best. Yeah, I like, mean, like there were so life. many people who didn't contribute at all and got, like, beautiful portraits or beautiful artworks. Like, the gifts that they did were great. It's just the fact that they only did, like, 25% of them isn't great. Right, I mean, there's... I, I'm looking through the thread right now, and there are some good pieces in here, and I really like a lot of them. But like, it does like the longest streak I've had of um, like gifts, actual gifts, were one, two, three, four, and then one just breaks it, and I'm just scrolling through now. And they're very good drawings, yeah, but sadly, there's still a lot to be wanted from people who didn't get anything else. Yeah. But um. If, if anyone at this point doesn't know what we're talking about, really, uh, and if you still had no idea what this whole Christmas giveaway was, is that it was just pretty much a whole uh, charitable event where these two factions, Trident and Poop Deck, would give out um, a certain amount of things uh, for free to you on Still Frame, but it would all be based on your contributions to the forums. Wasn't and, it like a secret Santa? I'd say, like, in uh, a sense. Yes, because... Um, you would get a gift, but you wouldn't know necessarily who it would be from. But, right. uh, with that being said, they got, like, a ton of people. I think almost 50 people? Yeah, yeah. a lot. Yeah, a lot In of that people. sense, it did a lot better than the New Year's event, man. But holy smokes. The, the only redeeming effect I had from my New Year's event was just giving out, like, random games. Yeah, it did. Yeah. But, um, to continue with the giveaway, like, the result of it just pretty much was, like, people, people did get gifts. It was... The scaling between the quality, based on that uh, previous thing that I said, it was very odd, and as well as like almost half of them um, consisting of the same exact signature 
and people not getting gifts. I, I honestly don't know what to say, really. Uh, I still think, like, I don't know, I think next year we should just go with the, uh, original, like, the first year, the first Christmas that Still Frame had, we did the Secret Santa thing, and everyone contributed, like, everyone gave something. And there was Not only, everyone. like, one or two people, well, most people, uh, there was only, like, one or two who didn't give something, and that was covered by the staff, which was cool, and that worked out really well, and a lot of people were happy, but... And I bet the people who got gifts here are happy. Like I did all, like I said, all the gifts that were given were great. But the fact that there was only like so little gifts given out, it kind of bugged me a bit. But yeah, like I, th I think if I were to say anything about it, really, I guess if if you're gonna make a, uh, a commitment like this, I you better you best stick to it. Yeah. And actually do it. Sadly, they kind of dropped the ball on this one. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, there will be some sort of redemption through other events. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Unfortunately, though, the Trident and Well, maybe not Trident. Poop deck's been pretty much abandoned. I think it's going to be closing soon because Ed Endless took its, its star members. And, and now it's just kind of said, they're like, what, what do we do now? Oh, yeah, that's right. Like, uh, who are they again? Uh, there, there are three of them. It was um, Zero, Wyatt, and Naruto, I think. I mean, uh, Zero, Wyatt, Wyatt and, uh, freaking. There's two Wyatt. of them? <laughs> Dude, you Shadow Clone Jitsu. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, uh, let's go moving on with uh, what's going on right now. Uh, Tyler, I think I'll give you this one. It's pretty uh, obvious. Well, I'm sure you've, m most of you guys have seen the thread by now. I've been trying to kick everybody's ass to, like, join. But I finally filled out the roster and got a couple extra people, actually, because of the fact that, uh,. I wanted to make sure we had two confirmed parts. Smash Pig Collaboration 2 is on its way, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be due on April 15th. That is the official due date. And um, also my birthday. And also Evan's birthday. Oh, fuck. Now we got to release it later. Um, <laughs> nah, man. It's cool. But anyway, um, you know, I, I got a lot of people who joined. I, I was pretty, like, happy with the results. I didn't I didn't get to get to have, like, a couple of the original members that were in it, like, such as Aiden or Mally, but... I did get Glay and Zach and a few others, and uh, I even I, I even permitted some people who I was sort of skeptical on their work, um, but I hope to be keeping a close eye on them. You yeah. hear that, uh, Rishi? You hear that, Exile? You hear that, Michi? I'm, I'm looking at all you right now. I'm, I'm looking at all y'all. <laughs> you guys don't finish. May God have mercy on yourselves. I'm, I think I might like ask the the like the administrators or you know the admins or whatever to. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to get my voice. To you know. Monitor them? No, no, not monitor them. Uh, what, what, what am I looking for? If they don't finish, like, see if we can yeah, ban them. Give them, them, while. Give them a penalty? Yeah, because there, there, there definitely should be a, a penalty for not finishing this. I mean, I mean, the time period that I've rumored, that I've heard, is pretty remarkable. What'd you say it was about? To, well, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's almost three months, really. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got, you got to get at least something done. In like two, months. like the minimum, like the, the minimum time your animation has to be is two minutes. And people were like going crazy. They were like yeah. two minutes. I've never done anything past a minute and a half. And I'm like, I guess you're gonna be putting in the extra thirty seconds because yeah, they literally shot themselves at two minutes. Like, if you can't have two a two minute animation done of you just mindlessly like killing a pig or some dialogue and then killing a pig and whatnot, if you can't do that, man, like, what? Why you you you're telling me <laughs> I can produce a movie in, in three months? And uh, the three of us uh, who are in this podcast right now are in it. Of course, Tyler's the host, but uh, I'm also here doing it, and uh, Jeremy's doing it too. Tyler, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, when was when was, I'm sorry, but like uh, when was the last time you animated something, Jeremy? Uh, like two days ago. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I've been yeah. animating a lot, it's just I don't really finish much or post it. Oh, well, you better show me then, because... Okay, I'll do it after this. I'm living me. under a rock. But yeah. Last, the last time I animated... ...was... Uh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, now that the, uh, the, the slots are full, guys, anybody who wishes to apply... I hope you got something good, man, because um, I, I'm only, like, allowing, like, maybe three more people. Like, I said I would extend five more slots for those who are truly exceptional. And uh, two slots were taken today by Glay and uh, and Zach, so we'll see. And, and those are for people who I think, like, w would really come through and really produce something amazing. 
Now, uh, as for those people I mentioned earlier, uh, Rishi, uh, exile, me, me, she, no, I'm joking. But, like, please guys, do this for me, finish it. Uh, I know you guys have a lot of problems finishing your work, and I know you guys have a lot of problems, um, you know, producing something of quality in your animations, but you guys have three months to work. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I sounded like a, a condescending <laughs> asshole there. Wow. Adam, nah. Tyler. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> no, nah, but like, I, I just, I, I know you guys have like, you, I, I'll just say it up front. I don't think you guys are up to par as some other members in the collaboration. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not much to talk because I'm not amazing at Flash either, but like, we're, we're all going to be working together here. I want to make sure that you guys are comfortable with us and feel like you can come to us with questions. Um, because we're, we're here to make sure that your work is as good as our work. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like, uh, at first it, like, it didn't, I wasn't very comfortable adding certain people to, uh, Smash Big, but, uh, like, later it dawned onto me, like, you know, let's give these guys a chance. Let's see what they can really do. And, like, other than just them finishing their part, like, uh, I, I said this in the Smash Big chat before, like, not too long ago. The only thing I encourage that's not a rule is that you either be creative or unique with it because like when you come to think of it, the it's minimum Yeah, like the minimum is two minutes and we have like twenty plus people. And if the minimum is two, it's gonna be like what, an hour long special of Smash Pig. And I don't I don't really look forward if people have like a uniform sense of just animating all beating pigs senseless. I mean it, like, that is the purpose of Smash Pig, but put some pizzazz yeah. in there, maybe. Pizzazz. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, apparently, I'm the intro for Smash Pig as well. Indeed. Pressure's yeah. on. Yeah, gotta make exposition and then make my own fight scene, so that'll be fun. Yeah. We'll start off on a good note, end on a better one. Alright, um... What else we got? Yeah, so, like, you know, Smash Pig's going on right now. If you want in, you better be good. Uh, deadline is currently at April 15th. You better be quick, too, because those slots are falling fast. Yeah, they are. Alright, so, uh, what's going on else right now is, um, round two of the SFC Winter Tournament has also kicked off with the, uh, the six that have moved on in a th into a, um, a triple threat battle, pretty much. Six out of how many people started? Like, like 30, 30 to forty people. Yeah, thirty. My, I think it was my like thirty. When dropouts. Yeah. Like really now. Yeah, like af after that whole mess happened, uh, everything's put up together again uh, between a triple threat of like uh, two brackets, and I I was surprised by the theme. Yeah, it was kind of disappointing, but I guess it kind of left for more. I don't know ideas. I guess. It it left for more creativity with something unoriginal because i mean with yeah the first theme escape yeah i mean that's cool but but let's face it with the escape theme like 99 percent of the people just felt like did the whole i'm gonna fight my way through a giant horde of things to escape that's what like I'm, half like almost everyone did like some of the people that did graduate to the next round did stuff like running away from volcanoes or um running away from someone they didn't fight anything, they just ran, or did something along that. You can only do so many things with escape, I understand that, but still, there was a small bit of creativity, but with freestyle, they're just like, alright, do your own thing. You can animate escape, you can animate flying, you can animate chess, it doesn't matter what you do, just do it, whoever's yeah. the best. Yeah. But, um... I don't know, I, I, I kind of don't want to be the whole, like, like, prediction scheme where, uh, like, because what we said last time for about the Winter Tournament actually happened, but I think this, this whole thing is also just going to end up like every other SSC that's labeled with freestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, I'm going to fight you, no, I'm going to <clears throat> fight you, and then just... Oh, yeah. but don't worry though. Was didn't you have to have a female character in it as well? Uh, yeah, you had to include uh, certain things. Um, um, let me see. The, yeah. the theme is freestyle with some additions. So it's freestyle. You can do whatever you want, but you must include one of the following items in your animation: one food item, an animal, and a female. You know, this should be judged 
on the presentation and enjoyment of the animation. How much time, I mean, how much the theme is implemented doesn't matter for this. As long as it's there, it fully fulfills the theme requirements. It's, this is mostly freestyle. You know, I'm pretty excited about uh, seeing a certain someone's part, of which I won't name on the podcast. Um, some people might know who I'm talking about. <clears throat> There's only six of them. This won't be that hard to decipher. Take a random guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, who are you guys rooting for? If like, Griff. if you were to choose, Griff, I. <laughs> Griff heard... doesn't even want to win. I know. Like, um, he has to. Like Griffin said that like, uh, who's Griffaraf on the forum? He didn't. He didn't initially want to win the first round, but uh, unfortunately for him, like half of his group dropped out on that bracket. And it's, for me, just, I think it's I'm voting for either Loco or Griff. Yeah. Uh, Griff or Zepto gonna, for me. I'm uh, rooting for Lan and uh, Zero. Yeah, like, I I can't really decide right now. It, it's pretty much anyone's game. Well, despite who you think, like, who you want to win, who do you think is going to win? This uh, I, if I, I, think would... I think everybody is just going to forfeit. <laughs> hmm, yeah, good insight, Tyler. Yeah. Uh, if, I were to, if I were to place my money on who it would be, I honestly think uh, Zero would take the whole tournament. Yeah. He is... Although la his last part, I don't know, it disappointed me at least. I don't know about everyone else. His skill was good. is quite impressive. It is. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on in the tournament right now. Uh, due date is the 26th. Threads will be up by the 27th, and if not, obviously there will be delays. And uh, that pretty much does it for what's uh, currently going on right now. Anything coming soon? Well, that's pretty much all a mystery, because... New Year, uh, we'll all figure it out. Um, it has been a while since we have done a podcast, but you know, still we're only going to do one shout out uh, per you know section of uh, still framed. But we do have two in particular that were quite interesting to see. We're going to start off with uh, the from the art section. We have uh, a new member who came on here recently by the name of Clev, and she had her uh, blondes piece out and show us all it. on the community. Do it, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think, didn't she, uh, or she or he, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, um, put up an animation related to one of the characters, like as a, yeah. a fighting stance? I yeah. never saw it. You never no, saw it? No. Like, oh. I'm looking, I like, I'm looking at their art right now, and I love it so much. It's, it's different. Yeah, totally there is. But, um... Yeah, I really like it that, uh... Like, we have uh, more coming artists with a more cartoon style. It's very appealing, and... I love the cartoon style, yeah. it's fun. I, I like doing that myself. Yeah, I, I kinda wanna get myself into that, but like... I don't know how to go about that, really. But, yeah, I'll, I'll explain it later. Though, so, um, any other thoughts? Uh, Too cute for me. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. What about you, Tyler? I I have no I have no words. No words. Speechless. I have, I, I I have no words. It was it was good. I, I invited her to my faction. It turned out. <laughs> <laughs> I got so mad for no, for no reason when you invited her. <laughs> for no reason. For no reason. Now I'm going to leave for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. Um, but yeah, shout out to you. Uh, we all really do hope that you present more of your work here. Uh, we all love it. It's it's awesome. Keep it up. So and, good. Uh, <laughs> good God, I can't believe we chose this one for animation. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, Listen, so, so, before we even say it, somebody take Flash from this nigga right now. <laughs> somebody go to his go to his house and break his computer right now. Uh, we, I think that already gave the signal who it is. Um, our shout out to the animation for this podcast is uh, Glay or the Animals Lottery animation. Oh my god. That, that what the fuck was going on that entire animation? 
I, I absolutely. Well, the extends to grab it. I was like, no, I'm done. I can't. <laughs> like the TF2 the... gib parts where he's just like moving around the screen. <laughs> like the the better thing about that animation was just the, all the comments that just responded to it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I I I literally lost. I lost everything when Jaws said you should be banned from using Flash. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like my and... sides hurt. Slash is one of those few animators who can get away with doing retarded shit because <laughs> <laughs> it's because he's been around for so long that people kind of know what to expect sometimes. Well, but it's because it, he it, does his comedy well too. Like you, you see other <laughs> people like copy off each other and like oh my god, remember that freaking trend that was like with the uh, the red chicken screen and the terrible Naruto music? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. yeah. <laughs> it wasn't much of a trend. The attack attack collab or something. Oh my god, like there was um, there was like four animators who did that like, like on how I, I was like, no, I can't. I was like, yes, this is horrible. But um, like for any of you who didn't notice, uh, I, I voice acted for the animation and I, I honestly didn't know it would turn out like this. Uh, I, I actually did see it coming because like, <laughs> I, I've pretty much known Eric long enough for him to do something this stupid, but I said Aaron. Eric. I said Eric. 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 But uh, he's. A, I'll say it, like he's an idiot. But I love him, and that's why. Like that's a pretty good representation as to why. And God damn it. <laughs> the war flashback thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. If you want to see it, uh, be, be my guest. It's pretty good, and um, the, uh, Eric's also in Smash Pig, so that'll be very interesting to see. Alright, uh, so that does it for the Shadows for this week. Congratulations to you two, all that good stuff. And uh, moving on with uh, the wind down of whatever topics we have left for this podcast. Um, I've posted in the uh, in the live section on Still Frame, uh, I'm putting up a college blog, because... Um, I'm going to the Art Institute in Las Vegas, in America, and uh, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be studying in media arts and animation. So, if any of you animators are interested in uh, pursuing that sort of thing, um, you can take a little glimpse of like what you're to look forward to uh, in the blog. It's going to be updated weekly. Uh, unfortunately, I've uh, put it to where you can't comment, so I don't have to dis deal with the like it says in the thread, deal with a disgusting wall of text whenever I edit the post. The dumb questions, McGee. Yeah. But, um... God. Like, yeah. uh, I was... I, I saw it, and it was really nice. I liked the, the stuff that you had received in your... In the welcoming gift. Yeah, I went to... Pretty excited for that. Yeah, I went to orientation, and, like, uh... That, like, the, the supply kit that I was given, like, in that picture, like... Uh, of course it wasn't free. Um, but you know how much how much it was worth, like all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna go spitball 400 bucks plus. Oh my god, that's right on the line, my friend. That's yes. like that's like right after taxes. Yeah, I got um, in addition to like whatever tuition I had to pay for, I also got a supply kit that can last me throughout the years when I'm attending college, and it's about yeah, it's about like 400 dollars worth of art supplies. And there's like so much stuff like I don't even like um, I'm not much of an avid drawer and I kind of want to get back into it and then I just see all the stuff that like like some stuff I, I understand other stuff I don't and then I get like a bunch of these sketchbooks and like I, I wouldn't say like a complete square but they're like two feet long and then like 19 inches uh, tall that's Dude. pretty crazy yeah, and, and that's not, that's like, it's like, like, maybe a hundred pages, and there's like four of them, and like, what do I do? <laughs> but, uh, it, w it was pretty cool, I mean, uh, it was a little intimidating, I'll say, because when I was at orientation, um, usually what you would expect when you go to a college, like, the, and 
like initially you would expect like uh, for everyone to be as old as you are because like um, people are interested in, interested in this stuff then they get their start there but when I was there I can pretty much decipher that I was I think I was the youngest one there really yeah I was I was sitting in a classroom like waiting for the orientation to start and it was just like packed with adults like all around me and it was it was like to be honest it was kind of intimidating like what did you uh put in as your application uh what do you mean by application like a portfolio you... yeah um oh god the portfolio uh like when you go to an art college of course they'll ask for your portfolio but like this school in particular, the Art Institute, had like a very strict guideline of how to do your portfolio. And I haven't drawn for a long time, so I had like two weeks to make a portfolio of like 15 pieces. My, my face really? went, My face went the capacity to draw. Um, <laughs> but like, uh, it was very, it was quite a challenge to deal with because like, here, here's what they, here's what they had for me. Um, Everything has to be hand drawn, all traditional. Uh, I think it has to be like in six months or just a couple months since the last time you did it. But since I didn't have any, I had to do all from scratch. Um, you can't do anime. You can't draw cartoons. Oh, oh man. Yeah. You cannot. What? So, so yeah, no digital art and no anime. Um. A lot of it uh, consisted around uh, realism. Realism is so... Like, I hate to say this to the people who enjoy doing realism, but I just... I don't like realism that much, and I just think it's kind of boring. It's not that it's boring, it's just that it doesn't have too much of a personality to it or style. But yeah, like... From what I've seen. Yeah, a, a lot of it revolved around realism, like shading and perspective. A lot of detail in your drawings and yeah it was it was actually pretty stressful and you know I mentioned it on a much earlier podcast that I, I did complete my portfolio and it passed and god there was a lot to work with but at least at least I'm through with it I'm I'm done I went through orientation and actually next Monday is my first day and I'm not ready. I'm not ready <laughs> but are you are you ready though? Like you got the three zero. Don't worry. Like I I know what to look forward to, but I just I still can't get the thought out of my head that like every freaking Monday I have to go to school from like eight in the morning till about maybe six at night. And then, Dang. And then come home, and I don't know what then. Just kick in the door of the place and walk in and be like, I am the best, and then they will they will be happy. Yeah, and then I have evening classes at uh, Friday, and then morning classes at Saturday, and then that's my week. I'll probably post, uh, update the blog every Monday, I guess, just because of how hectic it is after that whole thing. Um, it ain't easy being the best. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but you know. But uh, yeah, pretty much. I guess that's that's all I have to say for now. Anything else, I would just have to go and check out the school and learn but yeah um moving on to our next topic uh it was one that i like i was always curious about and i never got to really talk in depth with a lot of people um it's mostly around the idea of privacy and privileges now what i mean by this is like uh i'll post i'll give an example like one of the most basic ones like um like having stuff in your room uh do you guys have a TV in your room? Yeah. Yes. All of you? Yeah. Yes. Do you know people who don't? No. Um. Yeah. No. 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 Actually, no. yeah, oh, I, I do. Know some people, yeah. Uh, and and from what I can guess, uh, you all have uh, your computers in your room, and you can yeah. use it for whatever use. Yeah. Well, mine's a laptop, so it just kind of goes where I want. Yeah, I spent my own money on it, so yeah. Yeah, like. I like I I've known I've known like a very large amount of people who like don't really have that sort of I guess you could say luxury of having that sort of thing like uh, keeping it all to yourself in your room like a TV or a computer like you're talking about siblings yes well 
I guess you could put it that way. I mean, like, um, some people I knew were also, like, you know, only childs, or you know, only children, excuse me. But, uh, what did you guys, like, as aside from that example, what do you guys think about it, really? Um, that people don't have TVs or computers in their no, room? No, not, 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 that, that was an example, that was an example, but <laughs> just the whole idea, like, of, um, privacy and or just privileges, because, um, another thing that I guess could be relatable is, um, the whole Smash Pick, uh, chat that's been, like, we, Tyler, we formed the Smash Pick chat in, like, what, yesterday, two days ago? Yeah. And, um, we were all hoping that it would just be, like, you know, all just basic chat about only the collab, and, and then, and then we well, forget- Well, I made sure it is now. <laughs> yeah, and we, like, we forgot to take into account that we, you know, we're dealing with maybe, like, 20 plus people, and they all act like children. I mean, and, like, in in that sense, yeah, you made the chat, and it's about that. Well, there's an old, um, we have the Theory and Nebula Alliance chat, and we, re we don't always talk about, uh, faction business for people. And, uh, this, this may have come, this may be a question that might go unanimous, uh, for all of us, but, um, in general, how much privacy do you think you're entitled to? All of it. All as of it? long as I can lock my door for. Yeah, as long, yeah exactly. As, as long, long as I can it, keep my door shut. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Basically, when you, as long as you're, you, when you want to not be seen, you can go unseen. Then you should be fine. But I mean, unless you're getting mon, if, if there's cameras in your room and everything, that's. You have no privacy, and that's a problem. But if you're never seen, and always like, like everything about you is private, all your doors are locked, your drawers are locked, you have passwords and everything. That's a little bit too much privacy, I think. Yeah, yeah. There's got to be a happy medium, I'd say. Yeah, I, yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I mean, like, um, I know to certain degrees that like all of us would be happy to share certain things but there would be that misunderstanding where like I don't understand why you wouldn't share this and then they would just keep that all to themselves right yeah Some sometimes it's just better to let things go unsaid mm -hmm. yeah um I guess I can't really pull much else out of this topic it, it was it was pretty much it was a hard one to scratch on but I thought it would uh, it was worth know. talking about I'd say yeah 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 Alright, and I guess the last one, uh, we can pretty much put up for debate. A lot of people, like, I'm pretty sure for our listeners that you've listened to this topic quite a lot, um, especially from the more popular uh, people in the Maple community. Um, but as as for this year, I'm, I'm just going to narrow it down. As for this year, what do you think is the future for this community? Like, what do you think is going to happen? We're gonna have a nice rise, we're gonna have a nice decent amount of collabs, and then we're gonna die like Maple Nation. Nah, I'm joking. I think I, I think I think we'll get a good rise, but like every forum it'll have to come to an come to an end due to like a massive shift in like, you know, demographics. It depends on like how big we can get at one point though. Because I mean, you know, there are communities like Hy like Hyun's Dojo, Sig Page, or, you know, Fluid Anims that, you know, eventually ended up merging together. But the problem becomes that if we can't get big enough within a certain time parameter we're then eventually show. our we're, we're just gonna eventually fade off because maple animation is slowly but surely becoming a little bit more irrelevant and while it is true that maple animation is sort of thriving at some points it's not a big enough medium like, not everybody knows like, about it yeah right it's, so i mean if we can't get of, shit go ahead it's the type of thing that we're either going to have to adapt to maybe stick figure animations, art animations, drawing animations, we are going to have to embrace these other forms of animation to survive or else we're just gonna fade away like Maple. Yeah, animation. exactly. If we don't have like any other platforms of media, we're just gonna become irrelevant, is how I see it. A man cannot go on bread alone, and I guess bread is Maple animations at this point, so I guess we gotta get new things. Yeah, and like, um, 
the, the thing that hit me that wanted to bring this topic up was uh, the unfinished stuff that Mally brought up a couple days ago on still frame. He posted it up for us. They're all unlisted videos, but um, just listening to the exposition of his SSC versus Ray, like uh, what the did he say exactly? I was not present for this. Well, like I won't I won't say exactly what he just said, but paraphrase, um, paraphrase for me. But like uh, just because like um, after all the stuff that's happened, he doesn't really have much. Uh, to pursue after that, like, like it, he, it would it would be time to diverge. He's reached the top. Now what does he do? Yeah, but like um, I know I know a lot like uh, Mally and a lot of other uh, popular animators discuss this topic. But um, do you think that there's going to be a new generation of people that that may not be as good, but just in a sort of different way? Yeah, be, yeah. be enough to as role I mean, models. There's always gonna be dip type like I I have a feeling that people like eventually that people are gonna like Derek or um like I know uh oh uh, Greg Grego Grego what's his name? I Gregio. Yeah. I'm trying, okay? Uh but there there are a lot of people now that have faded into the background who used to be role models for me, like uh June or whoever just etc I'm just naming names to name names but there are gonna be people that maybe will become a role model at some point for the new generation and then they'll get to the top we'll fade into the background and it, the I mean that's one of the things I hope to accomplish with Smash, Smash Pick frankly like I know I know Smash Mushroom left a very large legacy but like despite Smash Mushroom 3 being like you know the best of its kind probably I hate to say it but most of the animators who are in there are actually already starting to leave, despite how new they are. And if you wanted to keep, if you wanted to keep one medium such as ours like relevant, you have to leave behind a legacy for somebody to follow. And I hope to accomplish that with Smash Pick too, because I've gotten a lot of like members that are relatively new and people who aren't like you know like exactly like Mally or um or aren't exactly Derek. Um, but you know I I have faith in most of the community and I hope see it finish and follow through so yeah like um mo most of the reasons why people would quit is just mainly because of just uh additional schooling which is of course college right and, and life yeah obviously. i mean some some one of the people that i know um quit because they went to the service and i haven't seen him ever since so I mean, and, and like uh even though i'm going to college i like my opinion on maple animation like I wouldn't hate it just because for the sake of it being maple. Because like I like to be honest, it's fun to animate. And like one of the things that like I'm disappointed in myself in is that I invested too much time in trying to develop a story or something more sentimental when maple in, in maple animation and then I dwelled too much upon it to a point where just I didn't have enough time anymore and life caught up to me and I have to uh, Re reorganize my priorities in place but um, even though I'm going to college in a couple days you know I'm still um, gonna put whatever time I have into Smash Pig and maybe even after that like you know I, pr I will likely uh, host a collab too uh, not like something completely different and I just I just want to animate little stuff now and you know no long-term projects just like uh, more fun stuff for me uh... I joined the community around two, three years ago. I just didn't do anything because I thought some I'd end up learning it some weird way, which I kind of I don't know. I forgot how I learned, but <clears throat> I joined around the time as people. I don't know. Maybe I think around the time people started like quitting, like all the older animators you walked in as they walked out yeah okay. i've been around since the very first maple nation i've been around since then since rumswiller was an active human being and uh like now i've, I've come all this way it's just slowly animating just slowly getting better seeing people walk in and walk out the door 
And it, it's sad, but it's also good because there are gonna be people like uh, the new kids or the new people who are just gonna walk in, get fame, and then just repeat the cycle all over again. Yeah, I think uh, I'd want to say that Zero was one of those people because you know he joined around February, and I think he had um, experience improvement. that, and he had experience beforehand. And I can't help but say that I'm proud of him. Yeah, I am too, to be honest. Yeah. He's coming. Like, yeah, like, his, his skill and his fame has been escalating so quickly in the community. But, I don't know, like, one of the... One of the things that I truly hope that, like, if this community were to survive, the thing that I hope is that we just... Um, branch ourselves out more to the public because I believe I mean, I, right I mean, now we're kind of just that one gated community that people know about and we kind of want to be that like place where everybody goes like oh man you went to still frame how was that going or, you know we want to be out there uh, yeah like um, I'm working the... on it guys hey <laughs> hold on there bucko we finish <laughs> um I mean, a lot of the the stuff that we post, like usually on YouTube, um, not, I don't really see a lot of the public just like respond to that. Like people we don't know, obviously, and a lot of the feedback just comes from people who are we already know, and it's it all it all seems to be very closed off. Like like everyone's stuck in a room, pretty much. Right. And there are like a tiny window of people that can get in, but the problem is like what I want to do is because I want to become famous on YouTube and if this place is still alive if and only if um, I'd probably mention it. I'd be doing I'd post maple animations as well as my let's plays and everything and you should get it out there I want to show the world animation because really animation besides like what you see on TV like CGI crap is not a lot. I mean, you're you're not gonna turn on the TV and say and see the latest stick page animation. No, that's not gonna work. You you're not gonna see that. I would hope for one day to see that. I would love that, but that's it hasn't happened yet, and I don't think it'll happen for a while. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. And the only way that we're gonna be able to change that is if we change that ourselves. It was deep. Yeah, just just as long as we get ourselves involved with a. With just just a lot more people because it's it's actually pretty quiet and so we need to now. we need to spread the word yeah what do you think jeremy what do you think is the future for us for this year actually uh i don't know i think i think smash pig is gonna lead it in the right direction in a sense where it'll inspire a lot of the newer animators to get better to join the next one if there is ever another one <clears throat> but i kind of feel like that's gonna be a thing and, I don't know, I just feel like there's that, if, if there's more than just the Smash Pig, like Smash Pig's great, the new Smash Pig, because it's going to be good, but I feel like if there were more big collabs that were doing that, there would be more people trying to strive to be better. So, it depends, like, there's really no way to tell how it's going to go, but I guess it depends on how it's going to, like, how many collabs come out, like, how many... People are willing to help the newer people. I think what, you know, I kind of just thought of something. What this thing really needs is a series. Like, take take a look at the most unfinished series on YouTube that has to deal with Maple Strikes, Maple Combat. And look how many views that thing has. That has like millions of views. Imagine if it, imagine if we made a series like that. Something so epic that it would get millions of views, and it would say sponsored by Still Frame. Description: You can go to Silfran. We'd be getting so much, like traffic and fame. And, like we we'd be more public, I'd say. Still, we'd be we'd just be making the room bigger because we're still just on the internet. But yeah, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I guess that's all much I have to say about that. And anything else from you guys? Michael serves a really. Michael. Miles serves a really Michael. good point. New podcast member, this just in, Michael. Hello. 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 Oh yeah, that's right. Um, 
a little a little side note uh miles applied for being a podcast member um with us in the crew and of course i said yes miles is a cool guy and he's yes. right here hello yes. um well i oh, i'm sorry I, I had been in a couple podcasts and i kind of just wanted to make it official I felt like might as well do this now yeah Respect, bro. But, um, I guess that pretty much wraps up for this installment of the Frame by Frame podcast. Um, it was relatively short, but, you know, it's the start of a new year. We'll see what happens as the days go by. And, um, I hope everyone doesn't just stress over school because, well, shit, holiday breaks over. Cool. (laughs) Exams are like a week away. College, <laughs> but um, yeah. Thanks for listening. Uh, surely enough, we'll bring up another podcast for next week, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. See you around. Yay! Bye. See ya. Art.